it is Mother's Day. And so I decided we're going to cook or bake my mom a pie. So, first thing you're going to do is get a pie pan. Okay? You're going to take the pie pan, take some parchment paper, and you're going to line the parchment paper in the pie pan. We start with this, then we move over to the dates. So we're going to take the dates, okay, and we're just going to cut these dates into fours. So you're going to get the pit out first, and you're going to make it a four-way cut. Something simple like that. Now Anthony says that dates perform a sweeping motion in the gut and they sweep out any bad viruses, bad bacteria, and even heavy metal. This is a dessert. I'm sure you guys are going to be cooking this at night. And dates are something that are super powerful, especially at night. And Anthony says if you eat just one date, two hours before you go to bed, it's going to help you sleep better. So this is not only a dessert, but it's a sleep aid too. <laughs> we're all done with that. So we've got our bottom, which is like our crust. Now we're going to take some oats. Okay, and these are organic oats, gluten-free. Sometimes oats can be processed with uh, other grains, like wheat which has gluten in it so if you want to avoid gluten at all costs get the uh, the gluten-free kind got our oats so I'm gonna do a cup of oats so I take the oats so we're gonna start with the almond butter here and you know I don't really have you know, it's not like I use a cup or anything. I take a spoon and I just do four spoonfuls of the almond butter. So there's one. And there's the fourth right there. Okay, next we're going to put this maple syrup in. This is the good stuff. It's pure. It's from Michigan. It's from a farm in Michigan. We get it shipped out every year. Now Anthony says that it's like an IV for the liver and there's undiscovered vitamins, minerals, nutrients that go straight to the liver and the liver thrives off of these sugars. So if you're concerned about lowering your sugar, you shouldn't be with the maple syrup because it's a sugar that the liver loves. So with this, I just kind of, I, I don't have a specific amount that I put in. It's one of those things like the, the last spoonful. I just kind of pour till I get the consistency that I want. So then you're just going to mix this up. So we're going to add a tablespoon of the chaga. Chaga is a mushroom. After a long day's work, right? Your adrenals get pretty shot and chaga helps not only support the adrenals after a long day but also support the liver because if your adrenals are shot from a long day's work then so is your liver so all we're doing here is just mixing the chaga in get it to that that nice consistency where all the powder is mixed in with the mixture and then we're going to move on to the next step here okay so we've got our mixture made i'm going to bring the pie back into the equation the dates and the oats in here and all you're going to do is dump the mixture over the top of the dates and the oats Okay, next we're going to take this over to the burner and we're going to let it 
uh, cook for about 10-15 minutes or so, you know, watching it to make sure it's not getting burnt. If you're cooking this at home in the oven, do the same thing. Throw it in the oven, let it bake, you know, go check on it every once in a while and make sure that the top gets a nice uh, even consistency across the board. Okay, so last step here is we're just going to put the top on and let it cook. So we're going to let this cook for about 10-15 minutes. We'll come and kind of check on it as it's cooking and when it's done we'll take it out and then we're going to add the toppings to it. Sorry, it's a little late. You see the lantern here. We just finished dinner. Our day in the garden, so we're finally making it in here to put those toppings on. So you can see here it's solidified. Everything looks really good. Okay, and the next step is we're going to put some nuts on. For the nut selection this evening, we've selected cashews. Okay, so all you're going to do is take the cashews and, and put them on top just like this. And we don't always eat this. True. Special occasion. True camera woman. <laughs> we do not always eat this. This is a special occasion type of type of dish. <clears throat> we don't always eat almond butter. We rarely eat almond butter. We only eat it with desserts for the most part. Just desserts. So this is it. I put the nuts on. And now we're going to move on to the berry selection. Berries are like the medicine cabinet for the liver. In your liver, your liver uh, oxalates. And what that means is when you have heavy metals that sit in your liver, they sit at the bottom of your liver and they sit there and rust. And when they rust, they oxalate. And antioxidants are what fight the oxalation that goes on in your liver. So it's super important to get in as much antioxidants as you can, especially at night. So we've got a lot of good things going on in this dessert. We've got the antioxidants, we've got those dates which are going to help the, the gut and help you sleep at night, and then you've got the adrenal support with the the chaga mushroom. So this might seem like it's it's an unhealthy dish, but this is so much healthier than anything else out there that you would eat with dairy and eggs and all of and sugars and uh, wheat. You know, so it's this is a really really healthy dish. So last step, I'm going to throw these berries on, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed watching us make this comment below we want to hear how you variate these dishes because we're out here off grid we don't have a stove we can't bake this but we'd love to hear from you guys hear some of your comments and see how you cooked it all right send us some photos or something be cool all right we'll catch you on the next one